Hi, Tim Ecker here from Meridian Stainless. We're the manufacturer of the angle ride clamping system. And today I'm going to show you how to use this angle and length gauge to quickly fit and notch tubes together. We're going to be doing it on a uh, sailboat rail that we have under construction here. This is uh, made out of inch and a quarter uh, OD tube with an 062 wall. And we're going to be putting in an intermediate rail using uh, this angle and length gauge coupled with our secondary clamps and an abrasive notcher that's fully integrated with this so it uh, really speeds up the process there's no need to really measure um, anything along the way uh, so um, here we go so this is where the rail is going these are temporary standoffs that we've cut uh, because we know the height we, we want it at um, and the tube is going to go between these two tubes. What we've done is put put the part of the secondary clamp on this tube. This tube is cut about a half inch long on each end. The angle and length gauge is attached to the uh, angle guide of the secondary clamp. And this one is, is still loose, so we'll need to adjust that up to the tube once we get this one set. This one we, we dialed in pretty close, so I don't think it's going to need much at all. Looks pretty good. It has to go uh, up. The tube will, will rest right in the corner of the angle and length gauge, and I'm going to put a spring clamp on here to hold it. This end will adjust. It's got a little, little fiddling to do here. Keep it on the standoffs. Push this up against the tube like that. And then you tighten these. So now you've captured the angle, the length, and the rotation is captured. This is a sol solidly in place. So you can pull these, this clamp off of here and pull this off. And now all we have to do is pull, pull the, uh, release these angle and length gates on both ends, take it to our abrasive notcher, notch the tube ends. And because the notcher is set to cut to a determined uh, position on, on here, once we do both ends, uh, this will fit right in place without needing any further adjustment. Here's our tube set up in the machine. This is the abrasive notcher that we sell. And uh, the beauty of this machine is it works great for thin wall tubing. Uh, because it doesn't catch like a hole saw might. And the um, other great thing about it is you can adjust your uh, coping fits accurately because you can set this stop down here to allow you to uh, take just a little bit more. Say you've decided you know the fit's just a little tight, you'd like to loosen it up a little bit, you can just back this off. It'll allow it to travel in further and, uh, and it really works out well. So here's the tube after notching on the uh, abrasive notcher. Uh, I've taken these angle guides off, um, but left the clamp halves on. These have a, a stop to re-index them on there if you want to put them back on. It's always good to leave these on until you know you've got a good fit. Um, I'm sure this is going to go in pretty well. I would think we had everything set on the notcher just the way it was on the last one. So. Yeah, there it is. Um, there's no end-to-end -end play, and the fit-up is looking really good. So, um, this one's done. Uh, when we go to weld this end, we'll put the, um, the primary clamp on. So, we'll leave this assembly on here, put the primary clamp on, and that will compensate for the weld distortion that's going to take place when we weld this joint, because we have nothing, no tube on this end. Uh, on this one we have a tube coming out and um, so we'll have a slightly different setup. This weld and this side will compensate for that weld. Um, 
we'll still get some shrinkage there, but um, just a matter of getting this this tube in the same um, the same height as this one coming off, so it looks correct, uh, and we have a setup for that. So um, we'll probably include that in another video. Thank you for watching the video today. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, put them below. And please subscribe because I'll be making more videos on topics like this. Till next time, thank you.